sound speeds. And if you do any kind of audio recording in an environment other than a studio, be it a film location, a podcast from your living room, or even a video game stream from your computer, then you're going to want to pay close attention to this video because I'm going to be showing you how to reduce your background noise using human flesh. Let's start by talking about sound itself. Sound is simply vibration, and anything below 50 hertz is omnidirectional to a human ear. And the higher pitch the sound goes, the more directional it is, and therefore you can tell the direction it's coming from. Now this comes into play if you're doing something like overhead miking using a boom pole. If this is directly over my head, it is line of sight to pretty much any sound there is around me and very few things are going to be baffling it and getting between the microphone and the noise source. The same is true if you're doing any kind of man on the street interviews, that is interviewing somebody out in the field someplace. You say something into a microphone, then turn that microphone on them and they blah, 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 talk into it, then you ask another question and they answer. Even podcasters and video game streamers run into the same kind of thing because you have a lot of noises in your house and anything that comes directly in line of sight to your microphone is going to affect your noise level. The loudest noise that comes into your microphone is going to be competing against your voice for the top spot in that recording. And the louder that background noise is, the more difficult it's going to be for you to remove that background noise and get a clean recording. If that sound source is really, really loud, then you could have an extemporaneous circumstance, meaning that you need to change up your miking technique. And if you're doing something like overhead miking and your sound source is that direction and your camera is looking this direction, then it shouldn't be a big issue for you to put something in between this microphone and that sound source. Baffle it with anything you possibly can. Preferably something that is hard and metal, dense, concrete, something like that. Maybe put a vehicle in between you and that sound source. So that way it baffles your sound and maybe even reflects it away from your set. But if that sound source is behind talent, then there's really nothing you can do without putting something into the frame. And that could be problematic for the camera department. But there is something that you can use and it is perfectly acceptable. The human body. Instead of coming from overhead with the microphone, you might want to come from underneath and use the human body that you're booming to baffle against that sound. The human body makes a great baffle. As a matter of fact, really all you are is a bunch of bone and water. So why not put that between your noise source and your microphone? And if you need help on when and how to underboom, there is a video right there that you can check out. If you're doing any kind of interviews with a microphone on the street, then obviously this technique will work really well for you. Simply put your body between the microphone and the loudest noise source. But surprisingly enough, most people will have a tendency of turning that noise source away from the camera. I guess it's the idea of, I don't see it, therefore I'm not going to hear it. But you could not be more wrong. If, let's say, you're in front of a fountain, well, that fountain could make for a pretty interesting shot, so why not put it behind your talent and have them hold the microphone in front of them, therefore you see the fountain and your body is also baffling against the microphone and preventing that noise from going in there. On this note, use a dynamic, not a condenser microphone. If podcasting from your living room and there's a noise you cannot shut down, then you might want to put that behind you. Same exact thing, use your body to baffle it. And the same holds true if you're doing any kind of video game streaming. Usually the computer fans will be roaring like crazy and that might be the thing that stands out the most in your recording. So what you might think of is, oh, I'll just push it underneath my table. But believe it or not, if you can get that behind you using your body to baffle that sound from the microphone, then you're probably going to be better off. Sometimes the loudest sound that you encounter is not the sound itself, but it is a reflection of that sound. If, for example, you're on location and the loudest pitch sound that you're hearing is a high pitch sound, listen for the fidelity, the detail. If it's very, very detailed, probably it's line of sight. But if it sounds more muffled and dispersed, chances are it's a reflection. Using a human body as a baffle against a loud background sound can be a very effective way to reduce your background noise. And it's a technique you can employ in any kind of audio recording. So keep this in mind because that's sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.